Long ago, the War of the Magi reduced the world to a scorched wasteland and magic simply ceased to exist. One thousand years have passed. Iron, gunpowder, and steam engines have been rediscovered, and high technology reigns. But there are the, some who would enslave the world by reviving the dread destructive force known as magic. Can it be that those in power are on the verge of repeating a senseless and deadly mistake? Hello Internet, and welcome to Final Fantasy 3 on the Super Nintendo. I'm Bing Deadpool, and I've been so excited about doing this Let's Play. I'm going to try and do as much of the commentary as possible, as well as read all the uh, board boxes and stuff, so... There's the town. Hard to believe an Esper has been found intact there, a thousand years after the War of the Magi. Think it's alive? Probably, judging by the urgency of our orders. And this woman, this sorcerer, why's she here? I heard she fried 50 of our Magitech armored soldiers. Not to worry. The slave crown on her head robs her of all conscious thought. She'll follow orders. We'll approach from the east. Move out. So other than that first little flub up, I think I'm doing all right. Um, I don't have a face cam for this uh, video because, uh, well, for one, I'm going to have guests who really don't want to be shown on camera. They're they're willing to talk and commentate, but they don't want to be actually seen on camera. So that's a thing. Um. Uh, other than that, um, I have a couple friends who just, uh, are kind of just self-conscious. They may actually just join me for gameplay, not even do anything. That's kind of disgusting. Never mind, don't ask, don't ask. <coughs> so, yeah, my full, pl my plan is to try and, and play this game all the way through, and even, uh... Oh, what the heck is that? I didn't even notice that before. Alright, anyway, um... My plan is to, is to get through the game, get all of my characters, try to get all their best gear, uh... And show you guys a couple of little tricks of the game itself along the way. Because, uh, this, this is one of my favorite games. It's one of my absolute favorite games of all time. And I'm actually really glad to be playing it right now. Uh, and uh, that being said, let me just apologize to uh, a friend of mine who may be watching this. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't wait for you to uh, actually play this. Um, but I wanted to do it. And I kind of had the plan to have it come out. So, yeah. Alright, so, uh, let's put her on point. No sense in taking any risks. Forward. So, uh, again, this is on a Super Nintendo emulator, so I can't run, uh, until I get sprint shoes, which is unfortunate. Um, Imperial Magitech armor? Not even Narshay's safe anymore! Alright, now, th this... First thing is just so the first couple battles are just so that you get acclimated to the battle system. Uh, 
which is pretty straightforward. I mean, you've got three major elements, fire, lightning, and ice. Uh, your unnamed character at this point has a couple extra attacks, like uh, a poison attack, which is bio blast, uh, heal move, which heals more than the cure, uh, actually heals about the same as, as her cure. Uh, a Confuser, it confuses enemies. Uh, an Exfer, which I'll actually use here to show that, because that one's kind of hard to explain. Um, and Tech Missile, which fires a tech, uh, well, a tech missile. So, uh, let's use the Exfer. Oh, it, Bolt Beam's gonna kill that guy first. Oh, well. I forgot about the weight thing. Alright, 32 experience points. Fix gained a level. Wedge gained a level. I got some GP. Amazing. Alright, now I need to go in here. Command set. Window or short? We're gonna go with short. We're gonna turn off the gauges so that way I can see how many hit points I have total. So that's that's helpful. Uh, I'm gonna set this to memory so that it remembers where all my things be. Uh, see, it, this was actually one of the one of the first uh, Final Fantasy games too, to allow for uh, you to play with multiple, you know, a second player. A second player can control like half of your party, which I thought was cool. Uh, looks good for the magic. I'll edit the window on my own time. Let's continue on. All right. Oh, it's so slow. Oh, they got dogs. Narche's freedom depends on us. Lobos, Magitech. Oh, right, that's right. Okay, that's what it does. I may switch it back because that's kind of, kind of a lot. Anyway, I don't know. Um, so we did bolt beam, we did fire beam. Let's show off the ice beam. Ice beam. Ice beam. Do some heal force, and I will show off expert now on this Lobo. Oh no! Pretty much just like stabs him away. Just the uh, expert pretty much abducts people. It has alien abduction written all over it. Guards are like, I don't know, they just abducted our dogs. What are we gonna do? Alright, so I've pretty much shown off all the attacks at this point. Um, oh, well, except for... No! Except for Bio Blast and Tech Missile. There. Bio Blast. It pretty much just hits the enemy with a ma uh, enemies with a massive poison attack. Nasty, nasty damage. And see, I can see my hit points and everything. Let's continue walking this way. Oh no, we've got him trapped now. Oh no, whatever shall I do? They have me in a pincer attack. Pincer attack is pretty much I'm surrounded. I'm gonna use... Oh, I can only do it to one enemy. Okay, Expert is only on one enemy. My bad. Uh, same as Tech Missile, it's only one enemy. But Bio Blast... We'll take out both the dog and the guard, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, no problems. And then Ice Beep! Iceman was like one of the cheesiest characters in that game because you could literally just fire off ice beams continuously and then follow it up with an Ar Arctic attack, which is like his hyper move. I I've. Oh, I've done so many things. We must defend the mines! I've done. I've killed so many people with Iceman in my party. In that game. But, I hate playing it. Because, if I lose, I take it very personally. It's horrible. I'm, I'm not a very good, good guy. Alright, anyway, Tech Missile. Let's use it on one of these guys. We're just kind of healing up our people at the beginning of this. Which isn't a really smart plan. But, I'm gonna do it anyway. Alright, uh, yay, everybody getting all healed up. Tech Missile in your face. Wow, almost 500 points of damage. This is like the most damage you'll see me do 
for a while. I'm, I'm gonna use up all this damage. All of the damage points shall be mine. You know, because I'm, I'm a badass. Beast. What can I say? 512. Amazing. Can't, can't, can't beat it. Alright. Boopy doo boo. Boopy doo. Let's go into the mine. Oh, okay, they're gonna get out and say some stuff, I guess. According to our source, Frozen Esper was found in a new mine shaft. Maybe this one. Okay. That's. That's, uh. Very helpful information, apparently. And we take one step into the mine and get attacked by Were Rat and a Repo Man. What a Repo Man is doing in a cave, a mine? I really don't know. Really don't know. Really am kind of just like taken back by that. A Repo Man in the middle of the freaking mine. What the hell? I, the where at? All right, I can understand that, but I, I don't know. Anyway, an eerie glow surrounds you. One info about save points? I personally don't. But for those of you who may have not have seen this game before or watching this for the first time, what the heck? At save points, you can use a sleeping bag or a tent, and also save your game. If you should perish, you'll automatically be able to play from your last save. Though, any GP, treasures, etc. you found will have to be found again. Your level and experience data will be retained. Which, that's nice. So, if I get whomped, uh, and then, like, grind a bit, eh, that's, that's okay. Uh, you can save your game anywhere on the world map. Oh, well, we should probably take this opportunity to, well, save our game. And as you can see, I've got a couple of saves. So we're just going to put it right here. Right here in this one. There we go. The one that I was originally going to do to, to record this. Anyway. Oh my god, pincer rare were rat attack. Ice beam! Ice beam! Well, that's fire beam. Fire beam! Ice beam! All right, I'm done. Done with the ice beam thing. That's that's gonna get old really quick. But this will be like the only time that I get to do that joke, so I'm taking full advantage of it while I still have it. Because shit's gonna go down. Right, chow. I'll handle this. Stand back. That's what he does, man. He just, like, ran right into it. Full force. I don't have to pay for this Magitek armor. We won't hand over the Esper. Welk! Get them! Oh. Is that boss battle music? Hold it! Think back to our briefing. What about it? Do you recall hearing about a monster that eats lightning? And stores the energy in its, its shell. Right, so whatever you do, don't attack the shell. Alright, alright. Well, actually he said, alright already. Alright already. Uh, we're gonna hit him with tech missile. Hit him with a ice beam. Hit him with another ice beam, and then we'll say you're away. The ice beam. The ice beam. Go, go, go. That usually means he's like retreating into his shell. So I usually take this opportunity to be like, heals, heals for everyone. Everyone shall be healed on this round. Alright, sorry, I, got it. I get into the music sometimes. This is like my favorite soundtrack in any Final Fantasy game. Alright, come on, come on. 
one. I, I, I think it's like one more round after this. So yeah, he's gonna attack me. Ow, goo, ru, 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 ru. And then he retreats into his shell. So we're just gonna sit here and wait until he comes out of his shell. And uh, then uh, things will happen. And we're gonna blow him the hell up. I don't know how we're gonna blow him the hell up, but it's gonna happen. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Time for some death. Bum, 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 bum. Tech missile. Oh! 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 And thus we beat our first boss. Granted, it wasn't that hard of a boss, but hey. Give me some credit. I got a potion. All that for a freaking potion. It's kind of crap. You guys think that was crap? I think it was crap. Anyway, let's move on. Ooh. A pretty thing. Look at it, it's a pretty thing. This is the frozen Esper. Hmm. That's cool. Oh whoa, whoa, hey, whoa. Whoa. What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Try try trot triouch? Triouch? I I'm gonna have be horrible pronouncing a lot of these names. Wedge. Hey, what's the matter? Do you know something we don't? Uh, I personally may. Girl. The frozen Esper began emitting an eerie light. Where's that light coming from? Hey. Wedge. Where are you? What what's happening? Hey, who turned off the lights? Hey, who turned off the lights? Sorry, I couldn't help it. Doctor Who reference. No, they're not really doing anything like that. It's just pretty much breaking. The crown, I'm assuming. I don't really... They don't really explain what happened right there. Really. I mean, the most you get is, you know... What's about to be said here. When I get out of bed. Get out of bed. Blah! You know, you know what? I'm gonna avoid him for a second. I'm gonna skip all that story for just a split second. Uh, because I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. They're clocks throughout the game that look like this. They've got little treasures in them. Every once in a while you'll get a elixir. Elixirs are awesome. They're freaking amazing. They, I believe they fully restore one party member's HP and MP. That's hit points and magic points for, you know, anybody who isn't retro. <clears throat> I don't know. Where am I? Whoa, I only just removed the crown. Head hurt. I don't know why I'm making her sound like that. I don't know. I'm sorry. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, give me the slave crown. I want to use that. I want to put that on somebody else. Easy. This is a slave crown. The others had complete control over you while you were wearing it. Can't remember a thing. Don't worry, it'll all come back to you. In time, that is. I'm so sad. I shake my head in denial. A mysterious young woman controlled by the Empire and born with the gift of magic. We'll keep her Terra. Terra is like her name. We're actually going to keep everybody's names the same as what they are in this game. I'm not changing anybody's names. My name is Tara. Impressive. I've never heard of anyone recovering this fast. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This can't be good. The dogs have found me. 
Open up! Give us back the girl and the ma Imperial Magnetic Armor! Open this door! We want that girl! She's an officer of the Empire! Empire? Magitek armor? Look, I have to get you out of here. I don't have time to explain. Over here. Well, um, he wants us to pretty much go here and flee from the people of Narshe. Or Narsh. Narsh. Narsh or Narshe. I don't really know exactly how to pronounce it. I'm gonna butcher a lot of names in this game. Bear with me. Um, but, uh, in the next video, we will continue through this door, and, uh, continue pretty much playing Final Fantasy 3. Um, but until the next video, peace out. Uh, we're already going to Bowser's Keep, let's go finish off the game, guys. Right? Right? What's, what's that sword want? Amazing. Not, not this early. Not this early. That, that's not going to come until, like, much, much later. Good point.